Hi everyone, it's John and today on Cozy, Charming, Crazy Real Estate, I'm going to review with you the five typical types of real estate agents. Now, this is a precursor to a series we're going to be doing here uh, that helps real estate agents by providing tips and strategies for either starting or growing a real estate business. Now, this may also be of interest to you if you are a buyer or seller and anyone else who uh, might be considering hiring a real estate agent so that you'll uh, get a little insight into what it is they do. So let's go ahead and get started. First, a couple quick words about my real estate background. I have been a broker in the state of California here the past 20 years, still am. And my journey has been probably the opposite of what many uh, coaches and brokers would tell new licensees to, uh, to take. And that is that instead of finding, let's say, a niche, which you'll usually be told, hey, you got to go find your niche and become an expert in it. I, through circumstances that were opportunities, uh, sometimes just curiosity, I, was, I have been able to work in several different areas within the realm of being an agent. And those have uh, provided a lot of information that I'm now gonna share with you. So let's talk about the five most common types of real estate agents and what they do. Number one is the residential real estate agent and they work with buyers and sellers of homes. And the typical home is a condo, a single family home, and uh, in some instances, it can also be land that has been zoned for a home uh, to be built on later. Our second type of agent is the commercial agent. And commercial agents usually specialize in properties that are used for commercial or industrial purposes or uh, land that is zoned for commercial or industrial purposes. Number three on our list of agents is land agents. Land agents often focus just on buying or selling or leasing uh, tracts of land, and it can be maybe uh, a commercial or industrial uh, piece of property. There might already be buildings on it, but the buildings have outlived their uh, useful life and they're gonna be removed uh, no matter what goes on that land next. And uh, most land agents actually tend to uh, focus on specific niches uh, just like uh, residential real estate agents. And those niches for land agents are typically industrial, commercial, uh, maybe retail or uh, manufacturing, uh, also recreational properties or even residential properties that are larger in size. Let's say uh, many, many acres of land that might be uh, built up as a subdivision with three, four or 500 homes on it. Number four is property management. Property managers tend to work either for commercial industrial clients or they work for residential clients. And the services they provide include leasing, rent collection, uh, tenant relationship and care, and often building or grounds maintenance or any combination of those, uh, of those services. And number five on our list is mortgage brokers. Mortgage brokers are not employees of a bank or lending institution. Those are loan officers. A mortgage broker works in a mortgage brokerage and they typically have arrangements with the banks to sell their money for them. They arrange uh, or broker mortgages with the buyers or borrowers and are paid a commission for doing so by the bank which is the source of the money. Uh, mortgage brokers typically have the same license as a real estate agent, although it can vary from state to state. So those are the five most common types of real estate agents. In future videos, we're gonna get into uh, discussions of the niches within each of those types. And I'm gonna uh, provide strategies and tips that I've learned over my career and that I've learned from other successful real estate professionals that will help you either start or grow your real estate business. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and uh, join us again on the next Cozy Charming Crazy Real Estate. Take care.